What's up everyone? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the Javaro HUD. One of the most commonly asked questions. I'm super excited to do like a, a quick guide as to what I'm talking about all the time when I when I say VPIP and preflop rays, stuff like that. Uh, so without further ado, check this out. Okay, so this is the Javaro HUD here. Uh, it's blocking a little bit of the ring. We'll talk about that in a second. But what I want to feature is the three stats, right? The stats everyone asks about, like, what, what are these things that you keep talking about? And finally, I'm going to explain them and, and hopefully give you some insight into how you can better use your HUD or, or think about things um, this way. So as you can see here, when you mouse over this ring, this pop-up comes up on Javaro. Uh, it's got the screen name, it's got the amount of money or chips you've won from them over time, and the amount of hands you played. The amount of hands you can also see in the center here. Uh, 18 hands, 18 hands. Now, the three stats you see in the Javaro bar here, uh, the ring as well as the pop-up information, is VPIP, preflop raise, and aggression frequency. Now, VPIP and preflop raise are really, really important. Uh, I think it's a stat that almost every professional that uses a HUD uses these two. I haven't seen a HUD without it, to be honest. Um, and I'll talk about aggression frequency after. But VPIP counts the percentage of hands you are playing preflop, um, excluding when you just call out of the small blind or big blind, right? So every time you play a hand in the cutoff, it'll count as a percentage point. One out of one, say you fold one, it's one out of two. Your VPIP would be 50% right? You played half the hands. Um, now, preflop raise, alternatively, counts the amount of times you raise, not just play a hand, right? Um, so, you can find these interesting scenarios where it's like, okay, their VPIP is 50%, right? They're playing half the hands, and we've played like 200 hands. Like, they're playing tons of hands, but their preflop raise is only 12%. It's like, okay, so they're playing a ton of hands, but they're only playing like, you know, uh, one-fifth or so of their hands aggressively. The rest, they're playing very passive. So you can find tendencies like that uh, from your opponents and be like, okay, so the way to to maybe take advantage of them would be um, play a lot of hands, play them aggressively, and they're going to have to fold on the flops because, you know, they have a weak hand, they're playing too many, and they're scared. Um, so they're just going to fold the C bets. So I'm going to play a lot against them. Or you could see something like a 12-10, right? It's like, okay, so this player is playing very tight, and when they're playing, they're playing it aggressively. Um, so we kind of have to give them credit. If they, if they raise, they probably have a good hand. It's probably not a good idea to, to play back at them or, or re-raise or anything like that. Um, aggression frequency is the last stat here. And this tells you how much you bet or raise as opposed to call or fold after the flop uh, for you or your opponents. So um, this can tell you, like, if you're facing a river decision and uh, their aggression frequency is, like, 70% or something, it's very high, um, they're going to be fairly likely to bluff if they missed, right? Whereas if someone's aggression frequency is like 30%, it's like, okay, so they're probably not going to fold a pair. They're just going to call a lot. They probably call too much. So I'm going to value bet my, my top pair on the river here. Um, that's how you use aggression frequency. You basically get an idea of after the flop, if people are playing really cally and sort of scared, or if they're playing aggressively. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about the ring. I'll be right back. So this is what the actual ring looks like. Um, it says VPIP here. This is actually like an information package. So if you guys need more information on this and um, say you wanted to expand on my explanation, I will link it down in the description down below. Um, but I'm just going to explain what these bars mean. So there's three different colors. There's red and yellow and green. Um, the red means someone's probably a tight player. They're playing, you know, fairly straightforwardly. You know, uh, this is where I find myself most often is in the red, uh, the red part of the rings where I'm just playing tight, aggressive poker, right? Taking advantage of situations when they come up, but not being too crazy. Um, yellow is a little bit more aggressive, something, um, where, where people are getting maybe a little bit out of line. They're going a little bit crazy, but in general, still pretty okay. Um, something that, it's probably going to net a lot of chips in some scenarios. Um, now, green means they're maniacal, crazy, playing a, a ton of hands um, and something you really want to target. So um, 18 hands isn't really enough to know anything, but say that this person had like 100 hands and their VPIP bar was like 
that would be in green and that would show people as playing 60% as just too much. And when you see bars in green, that's something you should really be aware of. So uh, let's look at this left bar here. Um, this, like I said, is VPIP, as you can see, it's pointing here. Um, this is just the percentage of hands you're playing preflop, and it's just like a percentage as it sort of works its way up the bar here. You'll be able to see visually, without having to mouse over the HUD, what people are playing like. Uh, this right hand bar is actually really cool, and I, I find the one I use the most. So this shows how close together your VPIP and preflop raise are together, PFR. So say someone is playing 1816, right? You're going to see the bar right up here because the difference between 18 and 16 is like very small. So they're playing tight, you know, they're playing aggressively um, or, you know, it's tight, aggressive, loose, aggressive somewhere in the middle there. But if say they were playing 20% of hands in the VPIP and then 10% of hands they were raising, it'd be right in the middle. It'd be half. So basically, this bar shows you how uh, aggressive or passive they're playing preflop. And I find that super, super useful. Something I'm always taking advantage of and looking for in my opponents is how many of the hands they're playing preflop are they playing aggressively. And the aggression frequency down here, it just goes from 0 to 100. Um, this is right on the 50% mark. And in general, you're going to want to see something over 50% most of the time. I think mine this year is like 56% or something aggression frequency. Um, so yeah, you can just take advantage. And again, it'll show like yellow and, and green and red. Um, you guys can check out all the ranges to those in this document here. Again, I'm going to link it down below. It's, it's really useful if you're sort of just getting used to the HUD and how to use a HUD and stuff. Um, but anyways, I think that's going to be it for this tutorial on uh, the Javaro HUD, how to use it and, and what it means. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, and we'll see you all, all later. Thanks so much.